Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, we're looking at why Nautilus might be the best file manager for Linux. Now, when we often talk about Linux, uh, the things that people often discuss are which are the best distributions and which are the best desktop environments. But the key part of any desktop environment is the file manager. And quite often, we don't speak about this enough. So in this video, I'm, I'm looking at Nautilus. Uh, in future videos, I'll be looking at Dolphin and other file managers, and I'm going to look at the features of each of them. And then when I get to the end of the series, I'll do a full comparison video so I can show you the features of each one and you can decide which one suits you best. So in this video, we're looking at Nautilus and we're looking at all the key features and some of the bonus features. And the bonus features are things that you can make Nautilus do uh, that don't come as standard and I will take you through that as we go along. So let's bring up Nautilus. Now I have installed multiple file managers on my system and I'm currently running an elementary. I've got one week left of elementary before I switch to a different distribution. Um, but we have Nautilus installed. And it's often known by the name files nowadays. Now ignore this in the top left corner. This is my Voco screen and this is what's used to record the video. But you can see this is the file manager Nautilus and these are your folders. Now I'm going to go through all the key features that a file manager should have and I'll show you those working within Nautilus. And you'll see that it's one of the most fully featured file managers there is. So let's start off with something basic. What should a file manager be able to do? Well, you should easily be able to copy, cut and paste files around the system. For instance, if I go into my pictures folder and I go into my wallpapers folder here, I should be able to take this file here, this file here, this file here. I should be able to right click and I can copy. And if I want to, I can go up to my pictures folder and right click and paste just like that. Equally, I should be able to go in here and I should be able to just drag and drop into that pictures folder. And you can see that's happened. So cut, copy, paste. Very simple. Equally, if you've got a file and you don't need it anymore, you can delete the files. So you should be able to delete one file. And I did that with the keyboard or you should be able to select multiple files. And again, I can use the delete key with the keyboard. And if I want to delete this file, I can just right click and I can delete from here as well. In this case, it's called move to trash. That's what we'll come back to later on. Another feature that you should have within any file manager is the ability to create new files and folders. So if I go into my documents folder, I can right click and I can click create folder like this and I can call it test. And if I go into my test folder, I should be able to create a file within that folder. So if I right click now and new document and you see within Nautilus or files as they call it, you can create multiple different types of document. So I can create a LibreOffice um, spreadsheet. I can create a drawing. I can create a presentation. I can create a document. Uh, it says Excel, Word and PowerPoint, or I can create a simple text file. So if I create that, I should be able to rename it. And you'll see that there's keyboard shortcuts. And there you have it. And if I want to, I should be able to drag and drop files around. And you've seen me do that before you know, in the pictures folder. But I can drag this up to my documents folder like this. And you'll see that's now in my documents folder. If I go into test, it's no longer there. Now, obviously, a key features of a file manager should be navigation and the ability to browse. So it should have a really nice GUI that you can look through and navigate. And you kind of need a directory tree. So if I go to my home folder, for instance, you can see I've got this list of directories here. If I go to my other locations and elementary OS, you can see I've got the full list of folders. And if I open folders up, it will give me another list of folders if there are any and any files that are in there. 
What you also might want is multiple tabs. So let's say I want my pictures folder here and I want to see what's in the EDLU wallpapers. I can open that but I can choose new tab and you can see they've got keyboard shortcuts so if you prefer using keyboard shortcuts you can use those and you can see I've got pictures here I've got EDLU wallpapers over here and you also want breadcrumb navigation now what is breadcrumb navigation well you can see that I'm down in my EDLU wallpapers folder and if I click here it takes me back up to my pictures folder and if I click here this takes me up to my home folder so it makes it easy to navigate back up through the directory tree um, back to the folder that you want to get to. Another good feature of Nautilus is the ability to make files favourites. So if I go into my pictures folder and I go into my wallpapers folder, I can pick a file here, for instance this one, and I can put a favourite there. And why is that useful, you may ask? Well, you might go into a folder full of a thousand files, a thousand pictures, and you might want to find your favourite picture. I click up here it moves all the favorite ones to the top equally uh, another feature you might want is the ability to see files that you've looked at recently so if I click on recent here you can see that I've got this picture in my pictures folder within a file manager you might want to see different views depending on what you're looking at so again if I go into my documents folder you can see I've got hello world.txt and you can see I'm kind of seeing this a list. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to close this and I am going to go into my documents folder and you see I've got my hello world. If I change this, I can change the way the folder is sorted, but I can also change the look and feel so I can make it look like icons like this. But if I go into my pictures folder, you can see I actually get a preview of the pictures that I'm looking at. I don't have to have it like that. I can change it to a list view. If I right click, I should be able to look at the properties of an image or a file. And it should give me the details of where it is, the last time it was accessed, modified. And I should be able to change permissions of the file within here. Another feature a file manager should have is the ability to search. Now you can see I can click up here and I can type in the path or you've got this search feature up here and I should be able to search for a file. So if I search for hello world, you can see it finds hello world. You can see this little option here and you should be able to filter. And so if I want to find files that are created within the last week you can click that and I can actually take off the hello at this point and it will show you all the files that I've created in the last week other filter options you can filter on what so I can look at um, pictures for instance and it will show you these things here so you can see you can filter and search files within Nautilus and that makes it easy to find what you're looking for the next thing I want to look at is disk management. So if I come out of here and I go down to my other locations, I can look at this disk here and I can click on properties. And you can see it tells me the total disk size, how much is used and how much I have left free. I can also open disks and this will allow me to manage the disk and how the partitions are set up. Obviously something else you might want to do is mount a drive. So I am going to plug in a USB drive like that. And you can see I've now got a drive here. And if I click into that, I can access the files on that drive. And if I want to, I can unmount the drive by clicking this little icon here. And it asks me if I want to empty the trash and it's up to you whether you do or not. I'm going to say no for this. And that's that. Talking of trash, we have the trash bin here. And if I go in there, I've got the ability to either restore if I want to, right click and restore. I can delete the single file from trash or I can empty the trash completely like this. And that's them gone. Now I've got this file here. 
if I want to, I can right click and I could do move to trash. But if I hold down the shift key and hit the delete key, you can see it says permanently delete the file and then I can delete it. If I go into trash, it's not there because I permanently deleted the file. Now, one feature that I wish that Nautilus did have is the ability to have a split view or dual pane, but they've actually removed that feature. And it's a feature that you get in other file managers such as Dolphin, uh, but we don't have that in Nautilus. And we're now on to what's really the advanced features of Nautilus. So one um, advanced feature is the ability to connect to uh, different network type drives. For instance, I've got a cloud device called a next cloud device. It's local. I've actually got it running on a Raspberry Pi. So if I click here, I can add in a new network drive. So what I do here is I type in the name of the drive. So as you can see, I've entered the network drive in. I click connect. Let's put this window up here and all I have to do is type in my user and password. And you can choose to forget the password immediately. So once you've logged in, it won't remember it for next time. Remember until you log out or remember forever. So if I click that, click next, you can see I've now accessed my next cloud device that's on my home network. And if I go into here, you can see I've got more pictures. If I disconnect from that and I go back to other locations, next time I want to connect, what I have to click is this drop down here and it's there all the time. And then I should be able to connect. And because I said, remember password, it should automatically connect without any credentials, which it does. Uh, more advanced features, uh, the ability to compress folders. So if I go into my pictures folder here and I go here, I should be able to right click and I should be able to compress and I can, and you can choose the compression type. So zip or tar or seven zip. So I do that. You can see I've now got a zip file and it's taken that folder down to 583 kilobytes. So if I open that, I should be able to open that up. And there it is. You can see my wallpapers. And if I go into there, you can see all the files that are in that folder. Another good feature of Nautilus is the ability to open a terminal from within the file manager. So imagine you're a software developer and you've got a folder here, for instance, called source. You go into here, you've maybe got your project name and in here you want to start adding your files and folders now you could obviously create a new document and start typing here you could open visual studio code but say you've got a program in here and you just want to run it you can right click you can open the terminal now my terminal is called tilix because i'm using elementary and I could run my code within this terminal. So for instance, if I want to type ls, there's nothing in the folder. Uh, PWD shows me where I am. And you can use the terminal as you see fit. Now with Nautilus, you can install some custom plugins. And I'll show you how I did that. So some of the plugins I've done. So one of the plugins I've added is Nautilus Admin. And I've just typed sudo apt install Nautilus Admin. Obviously, the command's different depending on which distro you're using because this is Debian based, apt is available. And if I go back to my file manager here, <clears throat> what does that mean? I've got the ability to, for instance, if I click, I can do edit as administrator. I'm now editing that file as the admin straight and you can see that because I've got the word admin up there. Another one I've added is the Nautilus image converter. Now what does that give me? If I go into my pictures and go into wallpapers and I pick this image here, let's change the view. 
like that. If I, for instance, take this one, I can rotate my image 99, uh, 90 degrees clockwise. And so if I open that up now, that's the correct way, but you can see it's created a rotated version of it. And that's useful if you're taking a picture on your phone, obviously, and it's the wrong way around and you want it to be the right way around. And you can resize your images. This is quite a good one. So you can make it um, smaller if you want to save space or larger. Um, and it will put the word resized on the end or you can do resize in place and it will just resize the file you're changing. Now if I do a search on all the Nautilus plugins, you can see there is a Nautilus Dropbox extension for, in for integrating with Dropbox. You can have one for the GNOME terminal. You've got the ability to hide files without renaming them. Uh, ability to connect to KDE Connect, Nautilus Nextcloud. And that integrates with your Nextcloud without having to type in the thing. Uh, let's try that out. So I'm going to have to restart Nautilus. Interestingly, if I search for Nextcloud, And you can see by logging in here, I can choose which folders come local. You can choose what to sync. So I could go here and then whatever things I want to sync. So for instance, I don't want to talk. Obviously, I want 5.6 worth of gigabytes of videos. I don't want my music. I don't want all those games. Let's just do the photos for now. But even then, there's quite a lot of photos. So let's just do the... EDLU wallpapers for now, click OK, and then connect. If I close that down and go into here, you can see all my folders within my Nextcloud account. And now that's there. So if I put anything in there, it will sync into my Nextcloud. Um, and if uh, something else puts something into the net cloud, it will come back down to here. So it's a bit like OneDrive for um, Linux in that sense. But my next cloud is local into my house. It's not out in, on the cloud at all. It's an internal network device. Uh, there's similar tools for own cloud, um, subversion management scripts. I'm not sure. I, does, do people still use subversion? Uh, surely Git's taken over and subversion was something that was relevant about 15 years ago i'd have thought you got a script manager you've got the ability to send emails using your default email client uh, a samba extension and that's already installed and you've got this thing called nautilus wipe so that is the end of the video you can see that nautilus as a file manager is very fully featured uh, it comes with gnome uh, and is if you're looking at desktop environments and wondering other than the gui and the pretty pictures and all that sort of stuff what does a desktop environment give you well gnome gives you this and it's a really good tool for managing the files on your system and that is the end of the video if you like it give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and i'll see you next time on everyday linux user